Last time we saw how we can interface the LED to our microcontroller. So today we have switches. We'll learn how we can interface switches to our microcontroller and also see what are the different types of switches that's available and that could be used in our projects. So looking at the picture here, we have seven different types of switches. Basically, I can exclude this one because this is a relay, which is nothing but an electromechanical switch. So, again, when you categorize it under switches, so it does fall under switches, but we don't manually operate it. We operate it using electrical signals. So, keeping that for the last, we'll see other button, other switches that we have. So, the main type of button the switch that we see is uh, the one here this is nothing but a toggle switch so most of the devices we see this kind of a button used for on and off purpose so this slides between two position so which is first position and second position so if you want to see how this operates you can see three different terminals down here and the middle one is the common terminal and uh, at two extreme position we have two different terminals so when the switch is at the bottom position that is towards one position the common pin and the pin towards which the button is pushed to is shorted so that that saying that these two are internally shorted when we slide the switch and when we push the button to the other side now the common pin and the other extreme pin is shorted so using this way we can use it as an on and off switch by connecting a power supply to the common button and from here we can tap out to our circuit and when we leaving the other pin unconnected so when we have switch in this position there is no connection between this terminal and this terminal that means the battery power is not supplied to the circuit when we push slide it to the other side connection is made and the circuit operates so that's about this toggle switch if we do have uh, these nice little switches here which is which is called a dip switch which is nothing but a dual inline package switch so they come in a different number probably like two two switches on a device and four switches and eight switches so multiples of two I should say And uh, the basic operation of this switch is that you have two terminals, each terminal representing a pin that which you can slide and these buttons are pretty hard to slide between positions. And when the button is at the top position like this there is no connection between these two terminals but when the button is pushed to one of the one of one side there is a short circuit between these two pins so there is an internal connection which happens when you slide the switch between these two pins so that's how you can control so you can set various inputs using these kind of switches so the same thing goes to this dip switch as well which is a 8 bit switch okay that's about dip switches and there's another type of push buttons push button type of switches but what happens here is that when you press them when you press the button it gets locked in its position So it's a very good handy switch for uh, on and off purpose basically. So what happens here is again the same thing. You have one common pin and two other terminals. So when you press the switch, contact contact forms between two pins here. And when you release the switch, contact happens between the two other terminals of this device. So you do get a button which could be fixed on this that would look real neat so that's about this switch 
we have something here it's called as push button now again this push button comes in various packages and how this operates is that uh, the shorter terminals the shorter side the longer side are shorted and the shorter side you see here is free so when you press the switch when you press the switch like that there is a connection short circuit happening between this and this so the the shorting of these two pins which provides as a connection so that's how this switch works so there is another type of switch here which is a very old uh, type of switch but still used for devices which have uh, with still used for uh, controlling circuits which require a lot of current to pass through so if you are using these kind of switches to on and off devices which draw current in amperes your circuit is going to be circuit is going to fry your switch is going to fry first so for those kind of loads you can use these kind of switches which can handle a lot of current to pass through them and coming to the last one in the category that we have category of switches what we have here is a relay this is a single pole double throw spdt type of a relay so this is a common pin and we do have a uh, two different terminals which uh, we will be through which we'll be taking the con through which we will be getting the connection and the other two terminals is for exciting exciting the relay so we connect one terminal to the ground and the other terminal we provide a voltage that's up like 5 volts 12 volts so instead of you pushing a button like this for shorting the device you provide a voltage supply which will in turn activate the internal mechanical switch which toggles between this pin and this pin or this pin and this pin so that's how uh, the switch toggles so when you excite it switch trips and shorts one of the terminals and when you de-excite it the switch comes back to its original position which is shorting this particular terminal so relays are again uh, good ways of uh, controlling devices but these are something that you feel the need to use when uh, you want to control devices electronically and not manually